And again, thank you for your time. You look so gorgeous. Her eyes are very gorgeous, guys. And thank you for your time and mabuhay. Thank you. Hi, Miss Sonia. How are you? Hello, my man. Okay. How are you? I am so good. I am so wake up. <laughs> I love to be here. And I'm so excited for rehearsals now. <laughs> Um, so far, um, what was the most uh, enjoying moment for you here? Sorry, I can't. What was the most interesting part of the show? The most I was so proud of myself. I love the way I performed on the stage. And I'm so excited for the finals to perform even better. <laughs> Good luck in advance. It's just so beautiful. Were you at the Blue Elephant? Yes. Yeah, I saw that video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and what is one experience are you going to bring back with you? Hello, Hello. 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 how are you? I'm very happy after yesterday night. Yeah. Um, so far, uh, how are you right now? Well, I'm pretty tired. I guess everybody's tired to us in this room today because we all woke up very early. What can you say about your preliminary competition? I was very happy with my swimsuit. I was really happy with it. Uh, and I felt so good that I can, I'm sure that you could see it. And you have to win because of yourself, not because of copying someone else. Um, evening gown, um, I, I am a little bit less happy because I needed to hold my dress. And you know, it's just not that pretty for oh. the dress. But it was great. I felt so good and, and I'm very happy with it. From, uh, Mr. Yeah. Good luck in advance. Yeah. 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 Invite your fans. Yes, the yes, finals yes. night. Sorry? Yes. Invite your fans to watch the finals night. Well, I hope you all will watch the final because we're so excited and we're doing because of you. And without you, it wouldn't yes. be there. We wouldn't do Miss Universe and your support means so much to us and it motivates us. So I hope you will all see it and I love you. Good luck. Thank you so much. And can you greet your Indonesian fans? Hi, Fajan Love for Indonesia. Terima kasih atas dukungan dan doanya. I'm here for Indonesia and I'll really try to give my best for Indonesia. Good morning, Hungary. Mabu, hi, Filipinas. Thank you for all the support and all the prayer. I hope we always give positive vibes to each other, to each country, so we can, yeah, so we can address ourselves and be diverse people. Yes, thank you, Sonia, and best of luck. Hello, Indonesia. I'm a little from Mississology. Finally, I'm in yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. Yeah. I'm excited to meet the media. Yeah. Anyway, so what, how do you feel right now? I'm very excited and very happy. I just done a preliminary. You? And I hope I can give you the best. Yes. Um, so far, what was the most interesting part of the show for you? The most interesting part, I think, from the day one, uh -huh. I feel like every day I'm meeting so I knew it was the in everything in here, like that in the end, the gym, well, when you work and on as a person, I'm growing into Mr. Universe. Really really I'm really growing well, to be a better person, so and I can I'm feel it. Yes, yes. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, right. How do you feel Mr. about your preliminary competition? I really love it. Like, I, and I think I'll already give my best, and I try my best. But all the things that are coming to me, I think it's economics. Oh, I said it. <laughs> it's okay. But, yeah, but I think I will already give my best, but I will try to keep improving myself to be a better person and to be the best version of myself in the final. Yes, and then how about your uh, closed door interview? Can you say something about it? Uh, sorry, what? Close door interview. Oh, close door interview. Go into, well, in the I would say that yeah, I'll yeah, just be myself in there. Like I told, I, I told the, the judges about my, my thought and I just be myself. They're asking about my, um, been working independently my interest and I told, I told them everything. Like, now just be myself. That's all. Who made your gown? Who made your gown? My own gown is made by Anas. Hi, Anas. Thank you very much. 
they are just taking some photos. Okay. Now, among the candidates from co-candidates, who is your best friend? <laughs> I have a lot of best friends. Oh, can you name? Cat, because we are in roomies. Yes. Also, Miss Philippines, yeah. right? Yeah, Miss Philippines, good and then what about your Australia, the uh, USA, right all of them actually. Cambodia, Albania, everyone of each of them I'm trying to get too close um, to you because uh -huh. this is my one never in a lifetime before. moment to I know really the other country. If I have to go to the other country one by one, it's really difficult, so I try to get know them more so I know what the country is and maybe I'm going to come to each country. Now, if you're going to Indonesia, um, where will you bring us? Because we hope to see you uh, also If in the you want to go to Indonesia, yeah, I, I will ask what you want to go. I mean, like, we have to go all yes, the yes. best Just message uh, the tourism destinations. If you want to go to Montek, we have... Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, good luck. <laughs> from Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. We have Thank really you. great Thank Montek you. and then also beaches, which is in my hometown. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's a lot of things in Indonesia that you're going to love. Oh, very good. Now, invite your Indonesian fans. Invite your Indonesian fans. Invite your fans. Hi, teman-teman Indonesia, Peju Lover Indonesia. Terima kasih untuk doa dan dukungannya. Sekarang saya baru saja menyelesaikan semalam, baru saja menyelesaikan preliminary. Mohon terus memberikan dukungan dan tetap support. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Indonesia. Hi. So what have you done so far in Portugal? Good morning, Indonesia. Good morning. How do you feel today? I'm feeling great. How does it feel to have so many people support you from your country? At first, I really felt, felt incredible because they really give the best of them to try to always support me, whatever it takes. It was such an incredible experience for me to have a lot of supporters and I really love them. You won't uh, disappoint them, right? You always do a very good job. I will try my best to always give the best version of myself ever. So last night, a uh, big crowd to support you, huh? Yeah, thank you all the Thailand people. They're really kind to me. They really support me too. And I really love them. And I really love them. <laughs> What do you do in your normal life? Hi, Miss Ghana. Oh, how are you? I was working you. as a digital marketing. Yeah, so how was, how, so how, you? I'm how great. Was, you know, um, a little low on sleep, so but you know, I'm so full of energy oh. because the Thailand is just so energetic to be in. Although we had the preliminary competition yesterday. Yes, how was that? It was amazing. Thai people have the greatest energy. You know, as soon as you step on stage, they just shout and give you all the you know, momentum. Yeah. Give you the zeal to walk, and I was smiling and having the best time of my life. Wow. Thank you very much. Come with your gown. I love your gown. Oh, thank you. Uh, it was made in Ghana, handmade specifically for me you said you're um, by what, Ophelia Coslan. And it features the top part of it features Ghanaian, hand woven Ghanaian fabric, which is called Kente. And I see that um, Thai people also have woven um, fabrics, and it's a little similar to what we have. So I've been finding a lot of similarities between Thai and Ghanaian culture. Yeah, uh, what was the part of the Ghana that is interesting? And That's a difficult question because Ghana is such an amazing place. If you visit Accra, even just one region, you see that there are so many things that you can see up and find. But I think one interesting place to visit will be the castle, the Cape Coast castle, because it has a lot of history too. Africans, but Africans in the diaspora, you know, mm -hmm. um, it, it speaks about a time not too great in history, and it just teaches us to keep moving forward, you know, mm -hmm. even when anything happens bad, anything bad that happens, you just keep moving forward and be positive. It gives you hope for the future. Wow. <laughs> How was your closed door interview? Oh my god, it was good. I had a good time. I came out and I was smiling, and I was wondering why I was nervous the whole time. Yeah. I was like, you know what, Penny, you shouldn't be nervous next time because the panel. Thank you. Can you do a catwalk for us? Of course. <laughs> oh, wow.
Okay. okay. Perfect. Beautiful Ghana. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. So so like half Dutch, half Finnish, half Chinese. So I learned a lot of things, like a lot of culture. Denmark. Hello, Miss Denmark. How are you? I'm very very good. <laughs> now we um. How was your experience last night in the preliminary? It was so unreal to be on the Miss Universe stage. It was something I've really been looking forward to. And it was crazy to hear the crowd, but the atmosphere, the whole room was just filled with joy and excitement. And all the fans that were there were so supportive. So thank you so much for that. I, I've heard, uh, I know that you're a close friend to Miss Catriona. Yes, I am. So how is she as a person? Catriona, I've been friends with her for maybe around two years, two or three years now. I'm very, very close with her. I am inspired by her also. Mm -hmm. I think everything she does, she does it full hearted and 100%. She is some, some a person I can rely on. Like I can talk to her about serious problems and I can laugh with her. Mm -hmm. I think she's a great person. She's beautiful inside and out. Who made your gown last night? My gown was made by Helsinki Junior, a designer from Mexico, just moved to Argentina, and I was very lucky that it got there in time because it was a little delayed uh, in the shipping, but it got there, and I was very excited to wear it, and I loved it. Now, can you say hi to all the Philippines? Yes, Mabu, hi Philippines. Thank you so much for all the support that you have given me, and keep doing it because it gives me extra power to work for this. Thank you, Miss Lin. Good luck. Thank you very much. Have a good morning. Oh, Miss Denmark. Finland. We have Rachel Finland. <laughs> Uh, okay, Hello, Miss Rachel. How are you? I'm oh, very good. Yeah, I'm Amir from Sociology. Thank you. Thank so, you. how was your preliminary? Actually, yeah, it was great and it was very big deal and big day for me yesterday because it was my birthday. Oh, happy yeah, birthday! Yeah, thank you. Birthday. And it was preliminary, so I have like double party here going wow. on. And the stage was amazing. The atmosphere was amazing mm -hmm. around the stage. There was so many Finnish flags that wow. surprised me. Yes. And people were screaming my name. It's given me so much energy. So I need to say thank you to all for support to yes. me. Who made your gown? Sorry? Who made your gown? gown. Uh, who you made my gown? gown? Uh, actually, my gown uh, was doing Finnish and half Thai designer. The designer's uh, name is Vigit, and he did actually my gown day before the show. So I was a little bit nervous about that, but the gown was perfect to me. Okay. Um, what do you like most about your stay here in Thailand? Uh, the, actually, the best thing is that I can meet so many girls all around the world, making friends, making friendships, and of course we have been in so many places and the Thai food is the best thing. Have you found your best friend here? Uh, actually I have, but not one, uh -huh. about like... Can you name it? Actually it's so hard to name because I don't have room in here. Oh! I'm living alone, yeah. Oh, wow. but, but actually it's fine for me. Sometimes it's sad, but I can always put up the door. I mean, like, can I go here? But uh, all the time we're tripping all around the Thailand and we have so small different groups. So I meet so many girls, so I don't have like special group. I'm good friend with everybody. Wow. Now invite again your fans to watch the final show. Sorry? Invite your fans. For the final show. Uh, the final show is after two days on Monday, 7 a.m. in Thai time. And remember to watch Vibe Fox. Visible. Miss Finland. Good luck. Thank you. Those two. Thank you. Oh, I have to tell you the moment. Yes. Because I have to think about it. And then we can go to Rinjani, uh -huh. Kilimanjaro, uh -huh. which is really great. Mm -hmm. And I think you're going to love it. So, what do you like? Do you like to go to Beach, or? Beach, yes. Oh, you can go to my hometown. Which is? Which is Bangka Blito. I, Bangka I can Blito. take you. Like, oh, really? Uh, I Stabu. would love to. So it's different with Bali. Bali is already crowded, but uh -huh. my hometown is still like very pure, very 
exactly. Oh, we have like a uh, white sandy beach uh -huh. with a lot of uh, running rock. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it? Yeah. No, not yet. No, you have to come. That's why. And also, if you go to the different parts, so each of every park in Indonesia has uh, their own identity and also unique. And each of them you can find a lot of beautiful tourist uh -huh. destinations. And you're going to love it. Wow. And can you show us Thank some you. of your Thank you, Mrs. Elegy. I love it. I love all the supporters. Mrs. Elegy is the best Thank because you. they always keep supporting Indonesia. Yes. Uh, Indonesian queen. Yes, of course. Yeah, you guys are the best. Thank you. Good <laughs> luck. You See you again. So, and, yes. And, and that's why you love her, guys. Hello, we have here the very beautiful Miss Edge. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good also. Nice to meet you. Nice to I'm from Mississology. Yes. Uh, um, by the way, Miss Edge, um, so far, how was your stay here in Thailand? How was your stay here in Thailand? My stay here in Thailand is amazing. I enjoyed it a lot and uh, of course I enjoyed the food it's the mm -hmm. only thing I'm getting introduced to on daily basis and uh, yes, I enjoyed yes. every you, place of Thailand in Thailand I visited I uh -huh. have done so the traditional uh, center which was amazing it was amazing but there's a has all the, it has like a tree from each country and uh, it's a place where you can learn how to cook it's a place where you can uh, do a lot of stuff, so yeah, I love that. I love the looks that you have, so beautiful and pretty. This is the first time I see a beautiful Miss Asia. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Myanmar. Myanmar? Hello, Miss Myanmar. How are you? Yes, I'm good. Thank you so much. How are you feeling right now? Oh my god, I'm just I, like yeah, I after my like preliminary uh, competition and I just like, oh, I'm free and I'm just serious. excited and for and next time. Uh, final and, uh, day. Uh, and mm -hmm. yes. just put in um, out there. I, I like uh, your like national costume, yes. Tanaka, right? Yes. I, al I have also have Tanaka before. Yes. Been in and Myanmar for like good. many yeah. times yeah. already. Yes. And until now I still have the Tanaka. Can you say something about this Tanaka? Of course, because I make my yes. national costume inspired by Tanaka and then like Tanaka is one of our yes. uh, one of the main skincare products of Myanmar. Actually, no, uh, men and ladies also use it. And, and especially from uh, especially for so women. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Who made your gown? Pardon? Who made your gown? Um, uh, designer Saila Maka. Yes. yes. Who? Designer Saila Maka. Ah, yes. from, from Myanmar. No yes. 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 Thank you, Miss Myanmar. Thank invite you all your fans. Invite all your fans. Okay. Um, uh, we have uh, our telecast. Um, final night competition is on December 17. I will see you guys. We love the yeah. Thank you. I, I'm, by the way, I'm Amir from Mississology. Oh. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you also. Good luck. Um, I thought my life was going to change that you want. when it, and of it course, did it like for the first years because I didn't know how to speak English. So I was worried really because my my image, I didn't know how to speak English, my humble look, a lot of things and everything. And that made me very strong and I learned that you cannot stay quiet. You need to speak. You need to say the, you know, what is going on and speak your truth and, and you know, maybe you can inspire someone else. And then, um, thank you. Thank also you. one thank message you. that uh, any language, uh, language is not a hindrance. The Hello, how are you? Exactly, totally agree. I think it's the message, and the message is you when you speak. And the language is not, it's not a barrier. Like really, there's so many ways that we can understand each other. Like here in Thai, I have exactly experienced it. Nepal. You know, with so many people. Uh, uh, Myanmar, 
Uh, so I'm very, very um, happy. Poland, hello. And what are you going to tell the bullies that you had when you were young? Now, who are watching you? What can I say? Thank you. Thank you for helping me be to be the strong woman that I am. Because if it wouldn't have been because of that experience, maybe I wouldn't have been confident and learned to know more about myself and appreciate and love myself. So maybe you sometimes you got to go through hard moments, hard experiences, so you learn and appreciate yourself to move on and to work hard. Hello, Miss Poland. How are you? I'm very happy. Oh, very happy. So how, how do you feel about your preliminary competition? Well, uh, yesterday it was something different for me. I experienced different emotions. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I didn't get stressed. I was very calm. And I always feel just good energy. And I think I did my best. So I cannot be... I can, if I not go to the top 20, I cannot say nothing bad about me. Because I really tried. And it was good. I hope. It you look lovely last Thank night. You so much. Who made your gown? Sorry? Who made your gown? Yeah. Who made, uh, well, fashion designer uh, Magdalena Poco from my, from my region. Oh. Oh. It's your part. You will and never know in Poland. Uh -huh. But it was amazing dress. Yeah, like wow. Um, <laughs> how about your closed door interview? How was your closed door interview? Closed door interview. Interview? From Close door. Ah, with the judges. Yes. Well, uh, the question was about tried, me, and be, you know, I get a little bit stressed. That was more stressful for me than um, coming out to the stage. But it was good, like about my personality. Like you see, I'm a happy person. So what bad can happen? Yeah. <laughs> so I love it. Now you invite all your fans. And you tell yes, I know. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is live. Uh, I would, I would yeah. like to uh, oh. again. You speak, I would like to know, say a big thank you to all my fans, all, all the people that support me, and I would like to ask you well, to create people are saying that you're a woman me, of substance as much oh as you God, can because it's really helpful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, is this your first time in Thailand? Yes, this is my very first time in Thailand. I'm so happy to be here because Thailand is one of the happiest places in the world. <laughs> Thank you for your And I think being in Thailand, this universe happening in Thailand, it's making us less nervous because we're always happy and smiling at the staff. That everybody here is so nice. They're, they help calm our nerves down. So I'm really happy that uh, it happened in Thailand and I'm having a wonderful experience. What do you do back home? In Nepal? I have an organization that I'm very deeply involved with. It's called Days for Girls. What we do is we empower women through health education, training, and giving them solutions to their um, challenges that they face. So my focus is on menstrual health. I educate women and girls uh, uh, regarding menstrual health, human anatomy, uh, reproductive health, and I teach them about sanitation, uh, human trafficking, and what we do is we provide them solutions to their menstrual health challenges by giving them the menstrual kit that's because yes, a lot, a lot of girls in Nepal, they don't have the financial means to purchase uh, feminine products during the time of the month. So what we do is we provide it for them. And by that, they can use it to go to school, go to work, and they don't miss out on everyday life activity. So I'm very proud of the advocacy that I'm doing at the moment, and I really want to use the Miss Universe platform to expand on my advocacy. Thank you. That's very nice. So I think good luck for you. And may I take some photos? What did you do in last year? During preliminary, I was very sick. I couldn't stop coughing, um, allergies. And you know what? Throughout my experience in my career, I've learned that no matter what you're going through, you need to project something that, you know, um, that it's you, even though. Thank you very much. Ms. Nipa. Well Hello, Ms. Nipa. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much. Hello. Hello. Uh, how are you feeling right now? I'm so happy, excited. I'm just happy that the prelims was done, so I feel a little bit of the weight has been lifted, and now time to really give it my all for the finale. Yeah, so um, you're wearing a Filipino made designer gown, right? Yes, I was wearing um, Miss Baby on. Oh, 
So she's a popular designer that I got in contact with. It's uh -huh. a friend, Brian Goldian. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm very happy. training with what? Yeah. She is the Filipino designer that I got in contact with by a uh, team called Goldian. Oh. And then they helped, um, she helped me make this gown personally designed it for me. So I'm very thankful to Miss Bianca. Yeah. Philippines, um, just recently, so Miss Rose I don't know Nepal is doing like well. Just, and we hope Miss Nepal will also be doing well. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, so really how was your closed door interview? I think it went well. I was really able to talk about my advocacy and which is something I'm very passionate about. So when you talk about your passion, you are excited and people feel it. So I hope that it, the emotions that I showed went across to the judges and they really liked my advocacy and think that I'm worthy to be the next Miss Universe. Uh -huh. And why should you be the next Miss Universe? What do you remember about I think Miss Universe is someone that is empowered and that she works um, yeah, in whatever to help empower others in her communities and locally. And I believe that I represent that. I am a woman that is already empowered and I'm working to empower the girls and women of my community. So I have um, the, the qualities of Miss Universe where she just helps others to find themselves and to better the quality of life for others. Well, speaking like a true Miss Universe. <laughs> now I've heard you were trained by some Filipino, right? Filipino, you were trained by Filipino. Okay. I, had, I had a lot of teachers that helped me with my journey to Miss Universe. Wow. And I'm very thankful. Yes, and how was it? It was amazing. Everybody taught me a uh, lot of new things because I'm not, um, pageantry is not a forte in Nepal. It's not very big. So, uh, yeah, it's not. And uh, we don't really have a lot of training there. So, I'm glad that all the teachers that I've come across with throughout my journey have helped me. And they are Goldian, um, Jonas Gafford. Goldian, who's the owner of the Goldian? Um, I'm not sure. I, I just had. Um, John and McCoy helped me, oh, but okay. I also had Empire Studios and Queen Queen's help me too. So everybody collaborated and helped me with my journey, so I'm very thankful for that. You are so beautiful. Thank you very Good much. Good luck. Yes, thank you. Invite all your fans from Nepal. Really oh, thank you. my fans from Nepal? Yeah. Oh, namaste Savezana, namaste Nepal. I'm from Marita Dakota. I'm from Marita Dakota. Thank you very much. I'm from Nepal. 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 Okay. So, so. Hello, Miss Nigeria. How are you? How are you feeling right now? Perfect. You're one of my favorites. Good. Anyway, how was how was your preliminary competition? Wow. How do you feel? I feel really good that I, I, I actually gave it my best. I gave it my best and I feel really relieved and good because before the preliminaries I was really nervous. And then now I feel really relieved I'm proud of myself. Wow. I love your gown. Yeah, homemade. Who was the designer? Modela Sarah. Lagos, Nigeria. Wow. It was very beautiful and unique. Wow, are you wearing the same gown in the final? No, I have a different dress and I'm amazing. Wow! By the same designer. I love the color of your gown last time. Thank you. Yes, you're doing well. Yes. Now invite all your fans to watch the final show. Hi guys, I really need you to watch the final show on December 16th. Fox TV. Just tune into Fox TV and it's by 7 p.m. Yeah, and you're going to see beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girls from all around the world, including me. Yeah, watch me strut. Love you. Thank you, oh Miss Nigeria. Oh, I mean, I'm from Mr. Thank you guys so much. Yes, of course. I love you. Good luck. Well, Aisha. Yeah, hello, Miss Malaysia. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good also. I'm from Missology. Oh, yes. How do you feel right now? I feel very, very excited. Like yes. after last night. Question for Namibia. Really what can she do to stop the violence against women? I can't wait against to, against to, to be at the finals in, on Monday. Mm -hmm. And uh, how was your, uh, your um, closed-door interview? How was my closed-door interview? 
good you ask a lot of questions about myself and also about my anti cyberbullying bullying campaign that you so I think it was good I didn't know yeah um who made your gown who made your gown who was your gown designer it's this um, incredible duo they're called um, Amaze Italia they did my they did my gown last night and also a, a gown that is going to be worn by me on Monday yeah. thank you invite all your fans invite all your fans well, me too. Me too. to all my fans out there remember to tune in on Monday to see me on stage Thank you. Yeah, so you are yes. ready now. Good luck in luck in your your thank you. Thank you. I am a pharmacist in Lebanon. Thank you. Yes. 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 My last year was pharmacy, and I am uh, speaking more languages as well. What are your languages? Arabic, English, French, and Russian. I'm half Russian. Hey, you're half Russian, huh? Yeah. Sounds like a very nice combination. <laughs> good luck on winning. Thank you so much. You feel confident, right? Yes. That's very good. That's very good. Do you have a message for your fans? I love you so much. Hi, Miss Namibia. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I am from Missisology. I see you on the blogs all the time. I love your posts. Thank you so much. You're welcome. How are you right now? I am doing absolutely amazing. You know, it's two days to the final show. I couldn't be more excited. Yeah. Um, how was your close door interview? How was mine? Close door interview with the judges. Oh, up close and personal? Yes. Was, I would say it went well. I would say that they were so accommodating. Um, they asked you questions. Yes. And anyway, yeah. um, during the preliminary competition last night, what was the most challenging part of you? I think that it's really just, you know, you don't have any other competition in a competition except for yourself. So it's competing against yourself. The most challenging part of it was I have to walk better than I did the last time. So the pressure that you put on yourself, you know, that is that was the most challenging part for me. But nonetheless, I had so much fun. And it was just so much fun in general, you know. Seeing yourself on stage, it makes you feel like it's finally happening after so many weeks of preparation. So it was absolutely amazing. Thank you, Miss Mamie. Thank yeah, so and good luck. Thank you so much. I love your gown. Yeah. Yeah, I think some photos, yeah. And I think that's the most important when you're going into any kind of new field. And the messages that you have for the young girls of Nepal and the young girls of the universe. Okay. Well, I want to say that, you know, I wouldn't be here if I didn't try. If I didn't tell myself, why not just go for that Miss Nepal edition? So I want to tell the young girls, if there is another, uh, some kind of event or some kind of dream that you Hello, have, Miss Peru. How are you? I think this year is one of the best batches. It's all the girls. I'm really happy with my sisters that have done so really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, how did you prepare for having that kind of body? For my body, also, I work out every day with my coach. Yes, so one of the questions that we have here online right now, because we're live online, is they're asking if you have been trained by a Filipino, and then if yes, by who? Trying every day, so the food is very important too. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> anyway, who made your gown? Who was your gown design? Okay, my gown or yes. this one? Also this one. Yeah, okay. I can yes, say we've heard about that. Look, look at the messages that you it's have here. It's made for Nepal the is a contender. Hands, uh, Matalino and Kudera. Matalino is very per smart Peruvian and very woman. well spoken. Woman. Nepal. This is and then, um, a gown from great, Cusco. Um, it's a traditional gown from Cusco. This is, wow. You have a great presence so and you have sold 250,000. Uh, well, most of the people say that Latinas are very strong contenders. Yeah. Can you see it? Can you give us a very fierce pose? Yes, I'm confident. They are confident. So this year, Latina, the Latinas are very strong. So I can say in Spanish, Latino America va con fuerza de todas maneras. Invite all your fans. Okay, uh, uh, hello, I am Romina Lechano uh, y los invito a seguirme en mis páginas en Instagram como Romina Lozano y también a seguirnos para esta competencia que es el 16 de diciembre, la final tan esperada del Miss Universo. Very beautiful. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Oh my gosh. Misosology. Oh my God. Thank you so much. I see you, Paige. 
of course. Always. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, Kenya. One message that you already said that, but what is one experience that you were going to bring with you and tell your future grandchildren? Uh, walking out the stage in this universe. Oh my goodness! As a child, I watched the TV shows and saw the wonderful. Hello, Miss Kenya. Hi. Can you say hi to Gian? Hi, Gian. Thank you so much. Gian has been so supportive. It has been amazing. I I can't thank you enough. I yeah. need to buy you a gift, Gian. <laughs> <laughs> now, what made you decide to wear a Filipino from a Filipino designer? Um, a Filipino designer designed uh, Miss Kenya's 2016 dress, and she did such a great job. When Gian offered to do it this time, of course we had to jump at that opportunity. And as you could tell yesterday, he did not disappoint. It was amazing. Um, what is the most interesting story of Miss Kenya? The most interesting story. Stories. About Miss Kenya. About Miss Kenya. Uh huh. Wow. Ah, okay. So I sing. I am a singer. But recent last year, I had a vocal injury, and I lost my voice. Oh. <laughs> and I was really trying to pick. I was picking in my music career, so that really sucked and to put me down. But because I am a fighter, <laughs> I I was able to recover. I'm not where I'm supposed to be, but I'm I'm in a better place right now. Uh, what was your feeling about after your preliminary? Um, I feel confident. I felt really confident yesterday. I had a lot of fun on stage, so I'm just hoping for the best now. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, the evening wear you wear it was from a Filipino designer. Will you be still wearing that in the same in the final day? Yes, for sure. He did it with so much love. Uh -huh. It needs to come back on the uh -huh. final telecast. Wow. Yes. You know, invite all your fans. And I'm from Mrs. <laughs> invite all your friends. I invite all my friends. Fans. Fans. Yes. Fans and supporters. Oh, I should invite. Should I invite them? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, you are all invited. Come, let us support Kenya this this year and have fun at the show on Monday. Thank you, Miss Kenya. Boom. Bye. 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 Kenya, can I have a short interview with you? Guys, um, she's one of our favorites last night. She really performed well. She's so fit on stage. Her gown was made by a Filipino, I believe. And how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm very happy to be here. You have a large uh, supporter base in the Philippines. So what can you tell your Filipino fans? I'm just so thankful. I did nothing to deserve this and this makes me so happy. I think by being yourself, you deserve it already. Yes, thank you so much. And I love that you are supporting me and may God continue to bless you people and uh, everything that you do. Keep pushing, keep fighting. We're fighting this together. Kenya has been having a, a love affair with the Philippines with Miss Universe. Your Miss Kenya was one of our top contenders during the Miss Universe 2016. Yes. So what can you say about this rela relationship between Kenya and the Philippines? I think it's very beautiful uh, because the relationship has always produced good fruits and I'm hoping for this year supporting and I really couldn't do what I do without that. Well, one last question. What is your unforgettable moment here in the Bangkok Times? So, what are your messages to the young girls who are watching you right now? I think it would have to be prelims last night. Just, you know, when, when you're a little girl and then you grow up and you watch Miss Universe or you see it on your computer screen and you're like, wow. And then last night, when we were watching the feeds of the girls, like the camera feed backstage, I was like, oh my gosh, we're at Miss Universe, we're in Thailand, we're doing prelims. Like, you know, it's just. When we were doing it, it never hit me. And then in the middle of it, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm at Miss Universe, you know? It was just, wow. And the stage was exquisite. Like, the graphics and everything, the lights, and everyone just looked gorgeous. And everyone was glowing. And it was just like, wow, I'm a part of these amazing women. I'm a part of this amazing organization. Wow. Let's have a selfie real quick. Just take the selfie and then I'll look back to you guys. Thank you, I'll take a photo. Guys, our next is going to be Miss Philippines. Name one teaser for you. Hey, this is Miss Philippines Universe. And you're watching the video. Okay. 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 Hi, this is Miss Universe Philippines and you are watching 
and then one more, and I am one with 25. I am one with 25? Yeah. It's, it's in that 25 in the front. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a freelance producer. I'm one with 25. Yes. I'm one with net 25. Or just one with 25. One with 25. Yes. <laughs> 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I am Katrina Degree, Miss Universe Philippines, and I am one with 25. Good job. Thank you. Hi, Katrina. Hello. Hi. My name is Leo Gautz, Indonesia. So, Katrina, you are people of like, two big pageants. Yeah. Oh, yes. Why? Well, I never planned it. I didn't save myself where I wanted to be. I just wanted to see Who were you wearing last night? Sorry. Um, okay. Okay, here. Is, uh, who were you wearing last night? Uh, the long gown. Uh, yeah, uh, long girls. Uh, Hi, girls. Yeah. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Hi, So your question guys, just send your question. Thank you. Hello Sandia. Do you have a message for your countrymen? Yes, I would just love to say thank you for all the support and the love that I've received. It has been nothing but awesome. I could not do much to here, but with all the people behind me, I have done it virtual and I even imagine I would love to support them all the way through until the final is watching and sharing his life. And those messages I keep receiving every day have really strengthened me as a person. And I would yeah, just say thank you. Thank you. Very much. Vietnam. I love you, Vietnam. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You, you were very good last night. Huh? Well, thank you. I think the crowd was really wild when you came out. Oh, thank you very much. Who designed your gown? Ling San. There was something flowing. Yeah, it was yes. so nice to take photos yes. of it. Yes. My editor couldn't stop processing uh, your photos. Wow, thank you very much. <laughs> what do you do back home in, in Vietnam? Uh, you do live in Vietnam. Yes. What do you do back home? Are you still a student? Uh, what? Sorry? Are you still a student back in Vietnam? You work in Vietnam? Ah, I am modeling I, in Vietnam. Full time. Yes. Full time yes. work. Yes. Do you have a message you can send to your Vietnam fans? Oh wow! Hi everyone, xin chào tất cả mọi người. Hen đang ở trên thảm đỏ núi Sơn Vinh ngày hôm nay. Cảm ơn tất cả mọi người đã tới đây để tham dự buổi biểu diễn. Cảm ơn đất nước Thái Lan đã mang biểu diễn mới về lại Thái Lan. Cũng như là các bạn đã nhận được tất cả các hoạt động liên quan tới các biểu diễn. Welcome to the Philippines pageant. Hello, it's you. Và cảm ơn biểu diễn mới đã tới đây. Hello, it's you. Welcome to the Philippines pageant. You are live now. How you were finally met, and Tristan. Yes, I saw you. Uh, checking out my uh, yeah. so, yeah. oh, when I got the idea, I was like, but we made sure that it was secure, but still, but you were so gorgeous during the national competition, and we felt um, yeah, your, uh, the culture and the, and your love for the Philippines. Here are so many messages here that we're in our live, so, so say hello to them. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys, to the Philippine pageantry, and also thank you for all your love and support throughout the whole Miss Universe journey. Send a message to your country. It really means your language, yes. So the question is, are you nervous? No. I'll be nervous right before I get on stage, but as of this moment. You did very well. Thank you. And will you be wearing an ear cuff during the finals night? I'm just reading the questions here. Secret. You'll have to wait and see. 
And then they're asking for hints for your final gown. Hello, Switzerland. Good morning. Good morning. I think you speak a lot of languages. Yeah. How many? Five. Five? Not perfect, but five. I can have a And another question here. What is your languages? Do you think it is a priority to speak the English language in being Miss Universe? The neighbors. Of course not. You know, Miss Universe is just someone who communicates her thoughts and is able to connect to people. And just like in music, you don't need to understand the lyrics. You can feel the feeling from what they're communicating. So why should it be any different? And then the Philippines is aiming to have the fourth mutual. Yeah. So who do you think will be around now? You know, for one year. After that, I go to the start of the interviews. I love to help around the day. That's very nice. Well, yes, you should. How do you feel about your chance? I don't know. Believe, believe in yourself. It's been dressing you a lot with your your dress yesterday during the rehearsal. Yes, because you know that's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a Miss Philippines in all aspects. So even in my wardrobe, down to my earrings and my gowns, you know, everything. I wanted to be my own. And you seem to be so perfect, but we believe that you're not perfect. So what is that imperfection that Miss Philippines have? <laughs> no one's perfect, you know, and I've, I've overcome my own challenges. I go through my own insecurities, through my own doubts, you know. And I wouldn't call myself perfect. I don't believe anyone is, but I just put the heart in what I do. And I just, I love what I do. And I think that shows, and I think that's why people support me the way that they do. And you have always been full of energy, but yeah. don't you get tired? Of course I get tired, but you know, when I'm when I'm here, when I'm yes, yes. expected to do the job of, yes. of being a Miss Universe candidate, I give my everything, because that's what, that's what I believe a Miss Universe should be. <laughs> yes, so what one message you would like to give the Filipinos and also your fans around the world with regards to being who they are and being who you are right now? You know what, guys? Just be yourself. You know, it sounds so cliche. It's like, yeah, Kat, we've heard that before. But yeah. what does it mean? It means, you know, coming to terms with who you are, what you believe in, what you value, and sticking true to that. Why? Because at the end of the day, you want to live for you. You yes. want to live a life for you. I mean, you can have your mom or your parents, your family, your friends, your social, your, your co-workers, your society always telling you what to do. But you need to feel that, that genuineness in your heart. You need to be authentic and true to yourself. That is when your passions will flow, your, what you're you care about will flow and people will really appreciate that and respect that so just be yourself find people who appreciate that because we can't be an island you have to find people that will support you in your journey whatever it may be and we have to build bridges yes. you know because it's only once we come to terms with what we believe in that we can start having conversations with other people about what they believe yes and then what message would you like to give to the bullies that have been attacking you since you won Miss Philippines yes. <laughs> So how did you feel about your performance last night? I feel good, I feel happy. I think my performance is a good performance. So I'm proud of me and I think I'm proud of my country too. Yes, Portugal. Lots of fans for the pageant, right? Yeah, yeah. Portugal, it's not the, the most biggest uh, country in pageants because Portugal needs to make a lot of work. In Portugal, we have a lot of people, but these people just like football because we have a Cristiano Ronaldo. And, but I think this year it's better, and I think Portugal can do it. <laughs> what do you do back home in Portugal? In Portugal? Yes. It, uh, Are you a teacher or a mother? No, 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 no. I finished my high school. Oh, still school? Yes, I'm just 19 years old, so I finished my high school. And now I want to go to the university and I want to study veterinary medicine. <laughs> oh, you like animals? Yeah, I love animals. It's one of my big passions. You like dogs? That's dogs, all of them. cats, all of them. Cats, it's my favorite animals. I love felons. How, how many cats do you have at home? Two. In my dogs, home. how many? Girls? Dogs. Dogs, I don't no. have dogs in my house. So cats, because I live in cats rule. Ah, yeah. yes. But my parents are divorced, so I have like five dogs in my parents in my dad's house and I 
have to do camps in my house with my mom. We have a message to your fans in Portugal. Yes, yes, I received a lot of messages, so thank you so much for all your support. It's very important for me. Thank you. Thank you. What is this? Thank you. 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 Thank Yes, hello for all the fans so that work on Mythology. Thank you for, you know, giving me this wonderful honor and also with supporting me and my sisters in this version of this edition of this universe. Um, I have to keep everything positive and just keep supporting us three or four days ago, guys. So it's one of my as a fan. And I have to keep it on the side. I have to support them. Guys, it's really breezy. I mean, what an amazing experience to be standing in front of two previous Miss Universes and like not trying not to fan girls. <laughs> um, but they were really, they were really. Singapore um, They didn't feel like we were trying to test it or put on the spot. They just wanted to know about us. Hello, Singapore. We're from the Philippines. We're very Hello, near. Philippines. And now again, finally, yeah. invite all we're very near. Yes, we are very near. Yeah, have you been there? I have never been to the Philippines. Please I really want to go one day. Oh, yes, I have to go. And also to all the social media portals of this university to catch the finals. Um, I'm actually just live from Tanko from University this year. Yeah. And I'm teaching this part time. Morning in the Middle East. Yes, it's Friday. I'm here from the U.S. region. Please do continue to support us and keep pushing your words. Also, the weather there in Singapore is perfect. Oh, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. It's not very different. My parents are similar. It's very close to home. And I feel very comfortable here. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Huh? How many did you get one? Well, my gown was made for uh, last night. Well, my performance last night was something we call. So imagine if every child could have their own experience in their own world. I think we would raise up a generation. What is next after Miss Universe? What is next after after me? After Miss Universe. Well, for me, I think Miss Universe. I want to start it. I want related to HIV and of course it's a problem in the Philippines but also another thing like you have so many Filipino supporters so any message to your supporters I just feel grateful for the life that I have, how blessed and privileged that I am. So it allows me to stay calm and grounded. That's my prayer throughout this whole journey. Just to stay humble and grounded. That's always. Hello, Silent. How are you? I am a music and strategy company who want to.